Assalamu alaikum this is Dr Hasna with Hasna Nat me and today we're discussing two very important topics of the face uh, the first being the facial artery its course and branches in the face and the other topic we're going to discuss is the lymphatic drainage of the face before we get started with the video i request you to subscribe to my channel now without further ado let's get started so let's talk about the facial artery basically it is a branch of the external carotid artery of the for the head and neck i want you to remember these two important arteries these are the and external and internal carotid artery because most of your supply in the head and neck will be derived from these main arteries all right and in case of veins you'll remember the internal jugular vein and the external jugular vein right so uh the external carotid artery gives the branch facial artery first your facial artery is lying in the neck or the cervical area and its course and branches in the neck area something we'll discuss later what we're going to discuss today is what happens when it enters the face it enters the face by this is the mandible all right and this is the masseter muscle masseter muscle is basically the muscle of mastication which is chewing or you know performing action when you're eating the food right it's antero inferior angle which means it's anterior most part and inferior most part is where the facial artery will wind round the base of the mandible to enter your face and at this point it also pierces your deep cervical fascia of the neck. external carotid artery is a very deep artery the facial artery however is relatively superficial because in the face it will lie between the superficial and deep muscles therefore it has to pierce the deep fascia in order to become a little superficial right the first part of the facial artery is its origin which is from the eca so uh, guys i recommend you all that whenever you're learning the uh, course of any artery remember it in points and you'll never forget it these uh, bullet points make you remember the major events that are taking place in the course of any vessel or nerve very well it enters the face how does it enters the face first it has to pierce the anterior inferior angle of the masseter muscle second is that it has to pierce the deep fascia and another event is that it has to wind around the base of mandible these three points are the most important parts of the facial artery course all right what happens next is that now the course of the facial artery is quite easy simple and very uh, direct what will it do obviously it will run forwards and upwards all right so the third point is that it runs upwards and it comes just 1.25 cm lateral to the angle of the mouth that's the first stop all right first comes lateral to the angle of the mouth the next stop is at the nose area obviously because you're running upwards you're com coming across these organs then it has to go to the side of the nose done makes sense finally it reaches the medial angle of the eye this is the eye uh, it reaches the medial angle of the eye and terminates by anastomosing with the ophthalmic artery branches the ophthalmic artery is coming from the internal carotid artery the point of this is that at the medial angle of the eye the an external carotid arteries branches and the internal carotid arteries branches are anastomosing that is a site of anastomosis of these two arteries branches so it's an important site the medial angle of the eye always end your uh, course with the termination medial angle of the eye is not enough it terminates by an anastomosing with this branch called the dorsal nasal branch of the ophthalmic artery we're going to talk about the most important parts of the course of the facial artery facial artery is not just a straightforward artery it's tortuous in its course like that like it's uh, you can say like a worm and why is it because obviously the facial artery is going to pass through the face and you know face has a lot of movements especially this mandibular area you're eating you're chewing you're moving your uh, mouth up and down so obviously there's going to be if something is straight if there's traction there will be stretch to the wall of that uh, structure compensation is done because tortuosity increases the length of any uh, structure right so this tortuosity is very important anterior inferior part of the uh, masseter muscle uh, or the uh, angle of the jaw is where anesthetists palpate your facial artery that's why it's known as the anesthetist artery why because anesthesia is being uh, done whereas the surgeon is operating someone's lower limb right anesthetist wondering if uh, the person's blood flow is normal he really needs to check a pulse right so rather than going and interfering uh, and checking the pulse from main body the anesthetist can just palpate the face area and he doesn't have to disturb any surgery that is going on uh, let's talk about the branches of the facial artery since it's passing close to the lip it will give a labial labial is anything related to the lip and since it's in the inferior lip it's inferior labial artery then obviously on the top of the lip it's the superior labial artery and then when it comes to the side of the nose it gives the lateral nasal artery and it ends up anastomosing with the ophthalmic arteries branches here i'd like to talk about some of the anastomosis that is taking place uh, in the facial artery 
what are the anastomoses that are taking place the first anastomosis is occurring uh, on both sides because there are obviously two facial artery there's another side and similar stories occurring on the other side so the other side similar named branches are going to be anastomosing with the facial arteries branches so superior level of this side is anastomosing with the superior level of the other side inferior level with the inferior level of the other side and uh, similarly so that is the first anastomosis that your facial artery is doing all right so the anterior branches are uh, anastomosing with the opposite side anterior branches uh, sorry i forgot to mention that uh, these are basically the anterior branches of the facial artery and facial artery also has some posterior branches but they're small and they're unnamed so you don't have to worry about them well the posterior branches of the facial artery are going to be anastomosing with the transverse facial artery and infraorbital arteries the, basically the transverse facial artery is a branch of the, the superficial temporal artery and the posterior branches will anastomose with it along with the infraorbital arteries and another anastomosis that is taking place is the final anastomosis in the medial angle of the eye what is it terminal branches of the facial artery anastomosing with the ophthalmic arteries branches so this is an important side of anastomosing between uh, eca and ICA. All right. So that's, uh, that's important. Apart from this, the facial ve venous system we've already discussed in the scalp video, uh, the supratrochlear supraorbital vein made the facial vein. Now remember the facial vein is going to run behind the facial artery and it goes uh, down and it crosses these angles of them. And then uh, it basically joins up with the anterior division of the retromandibular vein. Retromandibular vein was coming from where? It was coming from the superficial uh, temporal vein mixing with the maxillary vein and forming the retromandibular vein, uh, retromandibular given anterior and posterior division. Anterior division was uh, joining with this facial vein and these two drained in the internal jugular vein. Uh, now let's quickly go ahead and talk about the lymphatic drainage of the face. So whenever we talk about the lymphatic drainage of the face, I want you to draw a face and I want you to draw two curtains on the sides of the face. One curtain and two curtain. This you will label it as A or the upper territory of the face. Next, what I want you to do is draw a small box that is coming from your chin and going up to the lower lip. All right. When you draw this uh, little box, remember, it's, uh, make sure it's touching the lower lip and coming from the chin. Once you've drawn this, you can label this as C, you can label this as B. So these are the three territories of the face uh, that you drew with the curtains and a little block. All right. The upper territory of the face, we all know the auricles lie here, the ears lie here, right? The upper territory of the face is going to be draining in the what lies here preauricular lymph nodes and what lies here another gland the parotid gland so in the parotid lymph nodes so that is the upper territory drainage this includes the most of the part of the forehead because you can see from both sides these curtains are falling all right so most of the part of the forehead the lateral half of the eyelids conjunctiva some part of the cheek also now we are going to talk about the middle territory this b is the middle territory uh, you can see majority of the face is in this territory the next nodes are submandibular lymph nodes. These are lying in the submandibular gland region. And what uh, areas are included in this territory? Uh, the strip over the median part of the forehead. You have the nose, you have the medial parts of the eyelids, and then you have the upper lip, and you have the lateral halves of the lower lip, and greater part of the lower jaw. So all you have to do is, once you've drawn these curtains, you just have to describe what you see. And you have to label those areas and just remember these lymph nodes, pretty simple. And finally, C area is known as the lower territory. Uh, since it's lying in the mental region, which is chin region, just below the chin lie your submental lymph nodes. So the, the C area will drain submental lymph nodes with the area that is the medial part of the uh, lower lip and the chin is going to drain in this area. So that's all for the lymphatic drainage of the face. Really hope you understood today's video. Uh, stay tuned as I'm releasing the head and neck videos series is on. Until then, thank you so much for watching.